Hey, what's happening, guys? What you see before you on the breadboard there is the lowly rotary encoder. It's not a variable resistor. It's not a potentiometer. What is it? Well, it is a digital device that outputs a pulse train with varying characteristics depending on whether it is rotated clockwise or counterclockwise. And that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, first, I want to say a couple things. Thanks, everybody, who was... Uh, there it's live stream the last couple videos was concerned about the hiccups there's absolutely nothing I can do with them they're related to my health and they're gonna crop up from time to time secondly I'm killing myself making seven videos a week here so I'm gonna try to knock off the Sunday videos for a while I'm sorry if you guys are gonna miss them but God I just need a break anyway so on to our rotary encoder so down here in this blue part, down here in the base, are two wheels with contacts on them. And then there's a wiper that passes over those wheels. Now above it, there's also, or below it rather, a switch. We're not going to worry about the switch. We are just going to worry about what happens when you turn the rotary encoder. And to do that, let's go to the oscilloscope. Okay, so our yellow line is channel one, and our purple line is channel two. And like I said, they're just gonna output a pulse train, and there's going to be some phase differential in them, and that's how we're gonna be able to tell what direction it's turning. So if I begin to turn the capac capacitor, the rotary encoder clockwise, Tell you what, let me single shot this. No, it doesn't like that. Okay. I just have to get my twisting speed down here. What the heck of a... Oh, I put it in auto set mode. Hold on. Ten minutes later, hitting that auto set button. Oh, man, did it really screw up all my settings on the scope. Okay, again, yellow line, channel one, purple line, channel two. Rotate the control clockwise. You can see the phase difference. Channel one is slightly ahead of channel two. That lets whatever is interpreting the rotary encoder know that we have a clockwise direction. And then when I turn counterclockwise, channel two is ahead of channel one. And that tells, again, the Arduino, Raspberry Pi, AT Tiny, whatever it is you're using, the direction of turn. However, if you turn it fast, you might miss a few things. That's one of the downsides of the rotary encoder. But that being said, rotary encoder is pretty cool, incredibly simple to use. Right, let's turn down here and look at it for one last second. Zoom in. Is that all the way zoomed in? Oh, okay. Okay, you have clock and DT. Clock is channel A, DT is channel 2. You have your switch pin. Give it 5 volts and ground. That's all it takes. And that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.